Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode, episode 16, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so episode 16 was really good, I really liked it, it was a good return to normal, obviously we haven't had The Flash in a long time, so it was just kind of nice seeing the show back, because I did very much so miss it. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this, so... We're going to be breaking it down and reviewing the episode. So at the start of the episode, we saw Black Hole and Carver was there. He was with one of his associates and they were planning essentially to kill Joe by the use of Ragdoll. And you find out later in the episode that Ragdoll broke into one of the facilities and he hadn't been seen since. So obviously he's been under the protection of Black Hole this whole time. And we get Joe. Joe's told to get off the Carver case because it's getting, you know, way too personal. And this is over the phone at sort of this West Allen family dinner where you got like Team Flash. I don't think Caitlin was in this episode as far as I remember. And so they're all having this family night. They're just there chilling. But then Joe gets this call from Captain Singh. And then we move on. We see Iris and Eva talking inside the mirror. And Iris reveals that Barry is the Flash. So this is obviously a big revelation to her. And this doesn't really affect her that much, that being Eva. Because she's not that interested in the Flash. However, she wants to get to her husband, who is Joseph Carver. And the Flash is trying to get to him at the same time. And also obviously Joe so Eva is trying to stop Joe from getting close to Carver because she wants to get at him herself so obviously the revelation to Eva that Barry is the Flash is a big thing and it's been happening much more frequent over the past few seasons like a lot of the villains eventually find out that Barry is the Flash so obviously that is a risk to Barry's family and to Barry himself but more specifically his family because then lots of these villains still know that Barry is the Flash and they can get back at the family whatever way they want. But anyway, so she tells Mirror Version of Iris to drain the Flash's speeds. She doesn't care about Barry, but she cares about him trying to stop Carver. Okay, so we go to another section of the story, which is Ralph and Cisco. They're looking for Sue. They go to this sort of event, and this investor's brunch happens. You get to see this woman who eventually stops Cisco from hacking into one of the cameras. Turns out this is Sue, and she's had a face mask on, and she reveals herself once Ralph and Cisco eventually confront her. So it's nice seeing Sue back because we haven't seen her in quite a while. Also, I don't think Ralph was in last episode, so this story is probably going to continue on to the next season because they haven't really had that much time to wrap it up, but I guess we'll get a few more scenes as we head towards the last three episodes of the season. Then we go back to Joe, and this part of the episode is obviously to do with Carver and Black Hole and him trying to stop him, so Joe's car stops working, you hear some crackling noises, you hear a laugh. Obviously at this point we can infer that this is Ragdoll, but Joe doesn't know this at that point, but we can infer. And his car essentially goes on a mad one and crashes into a wall. But Joe actually survives, so this is an attempt at his life via Ragdoll, obviously under the orders of Black Hole. So Joe, after this attack, goes to CCPD. He begins to interrogate Sunshine, who was one of the meta-villains. I think it was the last episode or it could have been the episode before but Joe talks to her and tries to get some answers out of her but she won't say anything but then in the background you can see the box is moving you see Ragdoll he pops out of the box Barry figures it out about what's going on to do with Ragdoll simultaneously whilst Joe is interrogating Sunshine and we can see behind him Ragdoll is popping out so Barry comes in Joe shoots his gun Ragdoll somehow like reflects his bullets Barry runs, he's in flash time, he tries to stop the bullets from reaching Joe, but Joe gets shot in the arm, and Sunshine escapes with Ragdoll. He's not fast enough anymore, that being Barry, because his speed force is being depleted, and it's getting even more depleted as time goes by and the more he uses his speed. And this is an instance where he needs his speed to be able to protect the people he loves, and obviously Joe is his dad. He doesn't want to see him get shot, so obviously he's annoyed and he wants to get this new speed force going so that he can return to his normal speed and actually be the Flash and not have to worry about his speed. And so Joe kind of nearly exposes Carver as he goes to confront him, 
and he records everything but then he uses an EMP and it somehow deletes the file on this phone of the audio recording. So this obviously would have been the thing to expose him but, but it's very risky on Joe's front. And this continues on to Joe returning back home and Barry and Joe have an argument about you know his safety and how this is going to affect everyone because you know Black Hole is trying to kill Joe and what happens if you know he actually gets killed by them eventually. So at the same time we go back to Sue and Ralph and Sue is revealed to not be bad. She's investigating Carver. Somehow Carver's linked to her parents and so Ralph realizes this and he realizes all the places she's robbed and all the things she's done has been with sort of good intentions in investigating Carver. So he's obviously going to continue to help her later in this season. However, because episode 19 is going to be the finale, I don't know how they're going to end it. Are they going to end it so they continue the black hole story into next season? I really do hope they actually wrap it up and it's like a final conclusion because I think black hole is good but they're nothing special and I really think they need to start the next season with a really interesting villain like reverse slash zoom or like savatar because we haven't had one of those amazing villains since season three so I'd really like to get this story wrapped up by the end of the season anyway so let's move on to talk about the next thing so Nash and Allegra they have this argument but they're trying to protect Cecile at the same time because they know that she's at risk due to Joe being attacked and they obviously know all of Joe's family and you know Cecile has been threatened so Nash and Allegra try to help but then Ragdoll attacks them and Cecile screams in his face as she gets kidnapped and I'm not gonna lie that bit was a bit cringy when she literally screamed right into his face that was probably the one floor of the episode because it was just like it was funny but anyway so Barry and Joe they find the kidnapped Cecile Barry fights Ragdoll as Ragdoll sort of does his Ragdoll thing where he hides in these vents like these sort of gas pipes Barry obviously can't use his speed properly but Ragdoll is trying to hide he eventually gets Ragdoll with like a spanner in the eye which hurts him and Barry is able to put the metacuffs on him so he's cuffed together but then he realizes what Ragdoll's real intention was he's not doing it for money or anything like that he has essentially completed his mission because his mum has died and that was his initial mission like many episodes ago so now he just wants to be released essentially he is waiting for the bomb to go off so he can die with the bomb and so at the same time Joe is figuring out what to do with Cecile they remember something that they did in the past and then Joe takes Cecile's place sitting on the seat which is going to explode very soon so Joe risks his life and he tries to get the help of Nash and Nash is like oh I can do this you know just pull the green wire he sees a bunch of green wires they're all green wires and by the end Barry tries to run to save Joe once he gets the seal out of there but Barry is too slow and this is another reason why he needs a speed back because if Joe didn't do what he did, cutting the right green wire, Joe would have died and that would have been Barry's fault because Barry couldn't run there fast enough. Like normally he could have easily got Joe out there, probably could have contained the explosion but he wasn't able to do that in these circumstances. So he runs back, he finds Joe and Joe is fine in the corner because he has pulled the right wire and the explosive stopped. Essentially, Barry was just too slow. So then the episode ends with Joe actually leaving. So he's leaving Team Flash for the meantime. So he's presumably going to be gone for a brief amount of time until they defeat Black Hole because he's too at risk because they're targeting him. So he goes into witness protection. They say bye to Joe, that being Barry and Cecile. Iris is not there, and this leads to what happens at the end of the episode and the reaction that Iris gives. So they all say bye to Joe, and Joe leaves, so I guess he'll be back in a few episodes' time. And so then Singh, Captain Singh, or ex-Captain Singh, goes into the car, and he talks to the mirror. He says, Joe has been gotten rid of, you know, that was essentially part of his mission. And it's revealed Singh is working with Eva in the Mirrorverse. So that was obviously a big revelation and that will continue into the next few episodes. Maybe this version of Singh is actually a mirror version of himself like Iris and Camilla right now. So what happens if Eva has actually grabbed Singh at some point? I'm not sure when. 
but somehow he is working with Eva. And then we go towards the end of the episode, Eva delivers a message essentially in the form of a mirror, which she's inside. They talk to each other, they have an argument about what's going on and you know how he's operating black hole trying to do what they plan to do and essentially he was able to stop Eva from doing what she wanted to do herself. This argument ends with the mirror being shattered and you see the shards of Eva's face on the ground so obviously you know that's gonna bite him in the ass. Eva's gonna come back and get him at some point because that's like her whole mission. And so we end with a big big moment, Barry returning to the apartment to see Iris there. Iris has been told that Joe has left and she's angry that she wasn't there to say goodbye and she's trying to get Barry essentially to use all his speed is what you can infer from that because that was what she was told and if Barry actually went off and ran and found where Joe was he would have essentially lost all his speed. So obviously this mirror version of Iris is playing tricks on Barry and at the same time she essentially breaks up with him. So this is a massive moment seeing that Iris, obviously we know it's not the real version of Iris, but Barry thinks it's the real version. So he doesn't really have that much suspicions as of right now, but he will figure out soon. But essentially to him, he's just been told to get the hell out of the apartment and, you know, don't come back. So she shuts the door on him and Barry leaves. His face is kind of a bit perplexed and he will obviously figure this out sometime in the next few episodes. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you liked the episode. Remember, The Flash is on next week, so don't miss any of my videos. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.